Hi, so I've um, just replaced this alternator with a reconditioned alternator. The battery is perfect. The battery warning light still stays on. So once I replaced it, it's still staying on. So things you could do once you've changed it. I also had to replace this loom because it was faulty, because it was corroded. I've done that, changed it, replaced it with a reconditioned alternator double check the battery nothing wrong with that okay so now what could it be the first thing I did is took this wire back off this earth wire I cleaned it out connected it back and it's still on I tried everything and the only thing it could be now is the fuse or a faulty issue with the diode or something from this new reconditioned alternator which is highly unlikely anyway so I'm looking through fuses and I found um, something saying battery voltage sensor and that's black fuse it's a color black and it's a one amp fuse and it's a battery voltage sensor so it's located in this fuse box in the engine bay so let's just check it out and it's that one there number 10 so I opened it up <coughs> Number 10 is this one, that's the one amp fuse. So I'm going to pull it out to see if there's a fault. Yeah, it's blown. So I've just come back from Halfords. I've got a friend who works there. Um, they don't sell anything under 3 amp. It starts off from 3 amp fuses. Anyway, he found one in his box. Um, this is a 2 amp. This is the closest he's, he's got. So this should do anyway, temporary, until I order some 1 amp fuses. But yeah, push this in and see what's up. So now that should solve the problem. Okay, so I've been driving the car for around 2 miles and the battery warning light no longer comes on, which is great. So that's what it was, it was that fuse, the battery voltage sensor fuse. And it's charging around, the alternate is charging around 14.2 volt, which is perfect. So yeah, there it is, thanks for watching.